The air itself shook as a pair of F-15K Slam Eagle fighter jets roared a few meters above the ground to celebrate South Korea's 71st annual Armed Forces Day. Behind the massed military array, a series of photos of missile launching vehicles, high-tech fighter jets, and other material appeared on a big screen. South Korean defense firms have wanted to increase their exports for some time. The South Korean National Defense Ministry's latest budget is set to increase by 7% yearly, which means that the country is going to spend around $240 billion on defense from 2020 to 2024, and a sizable chunk of that money is going into arms improvement. Weapons List of Korea Kai KFX one of South Korea's most recent domestic defense projects is the Kai KFX multi role fighter jet. The KFX Korean Fighter Experimental is a 4.5th generation multi role fighter aircraft being developed by Korean Aerospace Industries, Kai, for the Republic of Korea Air Force, ROKAF and Indonesian Air Force TNIAU. Serial production of the aircraft is expected to start in 2023, and the first production aircraft is scheduled to be delivered to the ROAKF in 2025. Kai is anticipated to produce 120 fighters by 2032. The single-seat and tandem-seat cockpit configurations of the KFX fighter will be fitted with bird strike resistant canopy and windshield supplied by Techstars. The fighter will be equipped with ELTA Systems Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA radar, an infrared search and track IRST system, an electro-optical EO targeting system EOTS, and a radio frequency RF jammer. The KFX fighter will be installed with Cobham Air-to-Air -air Missile Eject Launcher MEL for the carriage and launch of air-to-air -air missiles. The aircraft will also carry Harris Corporation's BRU-47 and BRU-57 release systems. The BRU-57 Dual Smart Munition Release System enables to carry bombs up to 2,000 pounds class and is found on F-16s flying worldwide. The BRU-47 single store carrier to be fitted on the KFX is similar to that used on the F-15E. The aircraft will be powered by two General Electric F-14 GE-400 engines equipped with Full Authority Digital Electronical Control FADEC systems. Each engine will develop a maximum thrust of 22,000 pounds. Nodong Medium Range Ballistic Missile For North Korea, medium range ballistic missiles are the most effective way to hit targets in the south, which are beyond the range of their artillery. The Nodong is basically a modified and upscaled Scud missile, having a range of 1,500 kilometers. It is said to be very accurate and has a CEP, circular error probability, of less than 2 kilometers. The missile is very difficult to intercept using South Korean Patriot air defense systems, as the Nodong can be made to fly at an altitude above the engagement envelope of the Patriot, just by compromising the range. This is a good trade-off for North Korea as even with the shortened range that can cover the whole of South Korea without difficulty. To counter this missile, the U.S. has deployed their THAAD missile system in South Korea. The liquid-fueled missile can carry 1,000 kilograms conventional warhead or a nuclear warhead. North Korea is estimated to have over 300 of these missiles, but as the usual case, nothing is confirmed and these numbers in their possession can be significantly higher. It is also not easy to detect and destroy these road mobile launchers as we've seen in the Gulf War, where the Iraqi Scud launchers were giving the U.S. forces a hard time. Poke Pung Ho 3 MBT Main battle tanks MBTs form an important part of KPA's offensive and defensive strategies. Armored vehicles, especially tanks, form the spearhead of any ground offensive, and the Pok Pung Ho is the tip of North Korean spear. For a force which operates thousands of outdated and obsolete tanks, the Pok Pung Ho is basically cutting edge. Developed in the 1990s, it incorporates design features and equipment from several Soviet era tanks, along with local improvements to make it powerful enough to face the advanced South Korean tanks. The main design is based on the T-62 and T-72 tanks, and it features the standard 125mm smoothbore gun, which is characteristic of these Russian tanks. Nongo class missile boat The North Korean Navy has no major operational surface warships, and must make do with their fleet of submarines and missile boats in case of conflict. 
The Nongo class is a fast, compact, and inexpensive missile boat which packs a punch with its missile armament. Its design is said to be that of the surface effect ship SES type, which is neither a pure hovercraft nor a conventional ship. Displacing around 200 tons, these ships can reach speeds of up to 50 kts, or 92 kilometers per hour, which makes them very difficult to target using submarines. Its design is optimized for radar cross-section reduction, and it has a low silhouette, making it very tough to detect with regular radar systems. For its size, it packs a powerful weapons load, which is enough to perform shoot-and-scoot missions or swarm attacks on a superior naval fleet. It has a 76mm main gun, 4 XKH-35 anti-ship missiles with a range of 120 plus kilometers and 30 millimeter Gatling gun. Another version of the same class, which is shown in the picture here, has a 30 millimeter Gatling gun in place of the 76 millimeter. At present, only six such missile boats are said to be operational and it is possible that they may be mass produced because these missile boats are effective only when they are in significant numbers. KN-09MLRS this is one of the most recently unveiled weapons of the North Korean military and something that should be feared by anyone within 200 kilometers of it. The KN-09 is a multiple launch rocket system which has 8 by 300 millimeter caliber rockets mounted on a 6x6 China-made truck. It is said to be in the same class as the Russian-made Smirch MLRS. The KN-9 has a more advanced reloading system where each individual tube need not be reloaded and each empty four tube pod mounted on the truck can be replaced with a loaded one, thereby cutting down significantly on reloading times. The development and production of this weapon system is a sign that North Korea is beginning to modernize its military and not depending on outdated hardware anymore. Its test firings were monitored and tracked by South Korean radars and they have confirmed its 200 kilometer range. The threat posed by the KN-09 is on account of its long range which allows North Korea to comfortably target the South Korean capital and its surrounding regions from well inside the North Korean borders. Such a powerful standoff system, if produced in large numbers and deployed strategically, will pose a major threat and can be a game changer in the case of a war. Sinpo-class submarine with Pukusong-1 SLBM the North Korean program to build a ballistic missile carrying submarine was a well-kept secret until a few years ago when the regime itself started releasing information and publicizing its testing capabilities. The Sinpo class is the first ballistic missile submarine SSB, of the North Korean Navy and has the ability to fire a nuclear-tipped ballistic missile. At just over 1,600 tons when submerged, it is the smallest such submarine of its type in any service anywhere, and it is most likely intended as a test platform. The next submarines of the class could be bigger and carry more than one ballistic missile, thereby giving it longer range and better strike capabilities. Since it lacks an AIP system, its endurance is limited to less than a month, but being a diesel electric submarine, it can just stay dead in the water by turning off all its machinery and function as a static underwater missile launcher. Pukusong is a solid-fueled submarine launch ballistic missile, SLBM, which is designed to be fired from the Sinpo-class submarine. A single missile is fitted in the sail of the submarine and launched using compressed air. It is speculated to have a range of anywhere between 500 to 2500 kilometers, and there is no confirmation as no official information has been released. KN-08 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile The North Korean dream has always been to develop a weapons system capable of targeting the USA, and with the KN-08 they may have finally gained that capability. Although this missile is not yet operational, it will propel North Korea into an elite group of nations along with the USA, Russia, China, United Kingdom, France, and India with ICBM technology once it enters service. Until now, only mock-ups have been displayed and it's not even confirmed whether it will be solid or liquid fuel. There are unconfirmed reports that the missile has a range of anywhere between 8,000 and 10,000 kilometers. The reason why this missile launcher takes the number one spot is that it is the only North Korean missile system which can actually touch the U.S. and inflict any sort of damage upon their mainland in the near future.